So this is the follow-up video I promised I would do. I installed the VRM heat sinks. Also cover the memory up. Uh, this is the Kraken G10 installed on the Radeon R9290X. This graphic card uh, definitely gets pretty warm. Um, it's no longer a heater because uh, with the stock heat sink all the air would be transferred out of the back. Now the hot air is transferred through the tubes into the radiator and exhausted out of here. Also switched up the fans uh, exhausting instead of an intake. The intake was throwing the hot air back onto the card. Not a good idea so I have it being exhausted. Um, I have the cold air coming out of the back. So that's what it looks like. So both of the VRM1 and uh, VRM2 are now covered. As you can see, the memory is covered as well. All right, let's put it under load. See what it does. At idle, this is what it is. 25 Celsius for one and 32 for two. And the core has been sitting at 31 degrees, which is where it stayed. All right, let's put it under load. I have it running at a stock voltage, uh, plus 50 on the power. 1100 on the core and 1350 for the memory and this is uh, all with the stock volts. These are the settings I'm using. Core is at 42 so far, but you know, let's give it time, see what it warms up to. Probably we'll get into the mid to high 40s. Or is that 45? Let's check out the VRMs, see where they're at. So there you have it. 48 and 49 right now, but the max it got to was 53. Uh, yesterday it was hitting 80 to 90. Now it's at 49. So yeah, if you're going to be uh, using the Kraken G10, I would definitely suggest, um, definitely suggest running, uh, not running going and getting the the kit that I got uh, what I use was um, it's this kit it's supposed to be for the the GTX uh, 460 the VR005 you can get that um, from platinummicro.com 
and I used uh, Arctic Alumina. Just mix these two together. Within 20 minutes, it's stuck. But just know that you're probably not going to be uh, able to remove what you put on the chips. So just be careful. And this will uh, conduct electricity, so be really careful putting it on. Don't put too much. Just a little bit in the middle and just squeeze it down and uh, just let it cool. And it will stick, I guarantee you. So there you have it. Uh, the pieces look something like this. This is what you'll be putting on. And even though some people say it's not enough, I can tell you it's definitely enough. Um, as you can see, the core is at 47 right now. And the VRMs are at about, you know, mid-50s, which is perfectly acceptable. So... I'm gonna let this go for a little bit, see how I uh, how I can get the core. Uh, probably won't pass 50 degrees. I doubt it will, but we'll see. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, again, the kit I got was the VR005. It has everything you'll need to put on the uh, the uh, the video memory chips. You might need to get a couple of extra um, memory heat sinks. I believe it comes with nine and. Uh, no, not 9, 12. Come to 12 and you're going to need 4 more of these uh, because the R9290 has 4 gigs of RAM and there's 16 uh, memory chips on the, actual, um, on the actual card itself. So make sure you get uh, that kit plus 4 extra if you're going to cover uh, all the memory chips. If you guys have any questions, let me know.